this is Nyx, and welcome back to Pokemon Sword. We have just defeated Nessa, the water-type gym leader, and we are on to the next leg of our journey. Oh, do not keep the chairman waiting. Head to the seafood restaurant at the captain's table. So you will not forget the chairman's face, I will give you one of his lead cards. I completely forgot about meeting Rose after we did our battle. Chairman Rose is the kind of man who gets downhearted if he doesn't take care of things he needs to right away. Go to the seafood restaurant as soon as possible so as to not keep the chairman waiting. Okay, I think I'm going to heal up first and then we'll go see Chairman Rose. Alright, it looks like Chairman Rose's fan base is still standing outside trying to get his attention. Let's head in to talk to him then. Oh, we can see one of these things. I have no idea what it is. I still say it's a Galar Audino. Hello. Welcome to the seafood restaurant at the captain's table. You're not going to help me? Oh, Sonia's here as well. Can I get some food, please? Can I order? No? Hello? Chairman Rose comes here incognito, but the word always gets out when he's here. Alright, I guess let's go talk to everyone up here. Nyx, let's celebrate your recent victory. Oh, were you invited too? You two know each other? That's great! Come on now, please be seated. Are we- are you buying us dinner? I'd be very happy with that. That was a tough battle, we need some food. Hullbury is a seafood town. Naturally, if one is going to eat here, the obvious choice is the local cuisine. Everything on the menu is delicious. By the way, how is Professor Magnolia getting on? I'm quite in debt- I'm quite indebted to her, you know? She was one, the one who figured out how to unleash the power of wishing stars and use that power to Dynamax Pokemon. We would never have been able to create Dynamax bands without her. <sighs> she was saying that there's still so much we don't know about Dynamaxing. It's causing her some worry. She even made me take a power spot detector with me when I started traveling. A power spot detector? That's a device that allowed me to discover the power spots. Really? <laughs> Locations that emit Galar's particles and allow Pokemon to Dynamax. I don't like hearing that Professor Magnolia is so worried, though. If only there was something I could do. Sonia, it may be good for you to visit the Vault and Hammerlock. I believe the key to unlocking the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon lies in the history preserved there. Understood, Chairman. I will arrange a meeting with Miss Sonia. However, I believe it is time we get going, Chairman. But I've hardly had a chance to speak with Nyx. It's regrettable, but I suppose it can't be helped. If, if something needs to be done, there's no time like the present after all. In any case, I bid you all farewell. Oh, we didn't even get to eat. <sighs> Does he think he's doing me a favor? He's right that the vault would be a good place to look for info on the legends, but... You've got the water badge, yeah? Defeating Ness is no small feat. Here's a TM as a reward. Everyone's just giving us gifts, constantly. Ness is a good friend. Perhaps I should drop in on her. Till next time, Jin Challenger. Alright, well, I guess that was a waste of time. We barely even got to do anything. Alright, mate, you've got both the grass badge and the water badge now, right? In that case, you both we're both headed for Motorstroke and the fire gym leader, Kabu. Motorstroke again? I want to share with you a little tip about that leader, Kabu. From what I heard, he's holed up now in Galar Mine Number 2, undergoing some special training. If he's in there, then we can't take him on in Motorstroke, even if we zip right over there, putting the brakes on our gym challenge. So I say, we head to Galar Mine Number 2 ourselves. Let's go see what all the fuss is about. Alright, well, looks like we're off to the mines now. Let's put on our very <laughs> attractive bicycle gear. And it looks like Team Yell's taken off already. Galar Mine number two. What kind of Pokemon will we find in here? So far, nothing new. Ooh, wait. Why did it knock me off my bike? You again. I'd feel sorry for my Pokemon if I made them take part in a battle against low-level opponents. I'm not in the mood to deal with weaklings right now. But again, I suppose it's a form of mercy to crush weak opponents early on. If you're under the misguided impression that you're stronger than me, then surely you would be up for a Pokemon battle. Naturally. It's utterly inconceivable that I, the challenger chosen by the chairman, will lose. Ah, <sighs> being 
do we have to do this once again? You send out all your psychic Pokemon, and I will bite them until they submit. Alright, I forgot I switched to Sizzlepeed. The Sizzlepeed, Sizzlepeed knows Bug Bite, so let's get this over with, shall we? A couple of bites here and there, and Solosis and her team should be down. Hmm, looks like you've grown a bit. Only a little bit, though. Side shot. Ooh, man, that hurt. Critical hit. No wonder it hurt. <sighs> so tough trying to train Pokemon up. Alright, that was tougher than I wanted it to. Oh, Ponyta. Let's keep our current Pokemon. Excellent. Now, not everyone can corner my team like this. I didn't realize she had Ponyta. Oh, this is the Galar Ponyta. It's a fairy type, I believe? Hmm. I was expecting a fire type. Unfortunately, this is going... Oh, right, Psychic. That would make sense. She's a Psychic trainer. So let's do a couple bug bites. I should probably heal up Sizzlepeed. Try and save revives and actually use super potions now that I have a bunch. And then one more bug bite should take care of this. And that is all there is to it. At least a bead has been catching new Pokemon, unlike Hop. Alright. You showed at least a little effort, so I decided I should let you win. Whatever you say, Bead. <gasps> Yamper's evolving! We get to see Yamper's next evolution! And it, oh my god, it is, it is adorable. Bolton. This Pokemon generates electricity and channels it into its legs to keep them going strong. Bolton can run non-stop non -stop for three full days. Alright, we have a new little electric doggo. Ah, uh, pardon me, it seems I must take back my words. You're not weak, you just lack talent. Your chances of completing the gym challenge are pretty slim, I must say. Here, I'll give you this. Something to show you at least tried. Oh, we got his league card. Now, where shall I go next to collect wishing stars? Wherever is far, far away from me. <sighs> Alright. What is this? Oh my god! It's... It's a stung fist? <laughs> there we go. I'm definitely gonna have to run in and heal my team up. It is ground steel. Living in mud with high iron content has given it a strong steel body. Alright, we've caught another Galar Pokemon. And it looks like it's time for me to run home and heal up. Alright, let's avoid that stung fist again and continue along our way in this cave. Definitely feels like I need to spend some time in the wild area. And level up a bit. Look how beautiful this cave is, though. Oh, oh no. How do I... Can I avoid this? Ah! Okay. They can be avoided. <laughs> Hello. And bye-bye. Ooh, a Grip Claw. Hmm. Not as exciting as I was thinking. I forgot what the Grip Claw did. Oh no. It's these fools. Alright, let's make this battle quick. All right, time to battle these fools. Excuse me, mate. Sorry to bother you. You're one of them taking part in the gym challenge, right? Crikey, but that's really something. I'd love a battle against a great trainer like you. Well, look at you, Nyx. Surrounded by adoring fans, eh? You'll even be showing up Lee pretty soon. Oi, jog on, mate. Can't you see we're in the middle of a conversation here? Yeah, and can't you see I'm Hop, the trainer, who'll be your next champion? Oh, so we've got a joker here, eh? You're so funny, I forgot to laugh. You think I'm joking? I'll prove it then. And I think a battle with you lot would definitely end with some laughs. Let's take them on together, Nyx. You ready, mate? Yep. 
The two of us were endorsed by the champion himself. We'll show you just what that means. Well, if you insist, Team Yell's gonna teach you kids that the gym challenge no joke. You better not be yellow. What this other kid have to come waltzing up for, eh? I just wanted to knock off challengers one at a time. I mean, at least they were being nicer today. Alright, let's get rid of these two fools. Linoon and Thievo. Ooh! They both have evolved Pokemon now. And of course, Hop with his trusty Wooloo. Alright, Linoon's the strongest, so let's get a start on that. This shouldn't take very long, hopefully. Ouch, that kind of hurt for your Wooloo. Too bad your Wooloo can't use Draining Kiss to revive or restore its HP. Thankfully, he's smart enough to go after the one that I did not attack. Something that's kind of frustrating with double battles is it's hard to coordinate with an NPC. But it shouldn't take very long for us to finish these guys off. Hop is going to have to struggle for a little bit because his Pokemon are not doing so well against their Night Slash. But this should get rid of Feeble at least. And then we just have to get rid of the rest. It looks like they each have two Pokemon. So hopefully this won't take much longer. Ooh, a live card! Something different! Pop's gonna send out his Reboot. Alright, let's go against Lipard then. Our move does the most damage. So, hopefully, good job, Hop. Thank you for being good at coordinating with me. Hopefully we can get rid of this Lipard with one hit. I don't know if it's possible. But it turns out that it is. Now we have one Pokemon left to defeat. This has been quite easy when we have Alcremi out front. Alcremi's becoming a pretty good member of the team. Phantom! This won't take long at all. One more attack. Flame charge. And... Draining Kiss. And they are down and out. We got some good levels out of that one. Are you gonna yell at us because we up and yell lost? If I'd used a horn, would I have had a better chance of winning? I have no idea, but thank you for your money and thank you for the experience. That little mug's the champion's little brother. Guess that's what you get when your older brother's not useless. I know we're Team Yell, but we'll leave quietly once we're beaten. Nice one, Nyx. That's my rival for you. Now then, where could Kabu have gotten off to? Let's keep going. Maybe he's farther in. Hop, you are a useless rival. Why'd you not heal my Pokemon? Oh, a Shellos and Wild Dreadma. Huh. I wonder if there's any items around here. Is he gonna come after me? Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Oh, he's trying so hard. <laughs> uh, oh, wait. Do we have a left and a right? I'm guessing left is not the correct path because there's a battling person to the right. Ooh, we got some sand. All right. We have a battle to do. Now, let's see what this is. Sand Tomb. I really hope we're getting close. I feel like we've been in this tunnel forever. Probably because I keep having to run back to heal up due to the fact that my Sizzlepede was out in front, which was not the smartest thing to do going into a tunnel full of rock-type Pokemon. Hey, look, it's Hop. Thank you for helping out with my training, Team Yell, but I must say, it's unforgivable for you to get in the way of a car called hard at work. We weren't getting in the way, we were trying to cheer it on. 
Still, you did a number on us in that Pokemon battle, so it's time for Team Yell to Scarper and give a morale boost somewhere else. Cheering is one thing, but one shouldn't get in the way of honest work. That's Kabu. Man, he's wicked. No wonder he's the fire-type gym leader. Ah, you are the trainers endorsed by Leon. Hop and Nix, am I right? I'm just training right up until the last moment so that I can guarantee the perfect match when I face you gym challengers. I specialize in fire type Pokemon and the water type Pokemon in Galar Mine number two are the perfect opponents to train against. Regardless, it's getting late. Just go straight once you get out of this mine and you'll reach Motorstroke. Get a good rest at the hotel and make sure you're both in top condition. Come on Carcol, time for you to head on home too. I'll make sure you get there safely. We're going to be on fire tomorrow. All right, it looks like we're back to Motor City, Motorstroke City. I remember Lee talking about Kaboo. He said that a lot of gym challengers give up because they just can't beat Kaboo. Man, now I'm all fired up too. Back to Motorstroke City it is for our third gym battle against Kaboo. I will do a little bit of training up in between episodes though. That car coal from before. I guess it must have been here on a job. You do know about Pokemon jobs now, right? I do. Of course you do. Now I'm Cream Ca Cream Crackered. I'm for the buddy drop in and some sleep. Come tomorrow, that fire type gym leader Kaboo better be ready because I'll be coming for him. All right, let's get her make her way through the tall grass here. Wow, look at all these Pokemon. What's this sign say? Motor stroke outskirts. Alright. What is that? Is that a Hatina? Ooh, Amulet coin. <gasps> Are we getting our very own Hatina? Alright, I was just gonna rush on through here, but it looks like we have some Pokemon to battle and catch. Start with a draining kiss. Hopefully that won't do too much damage. Oh good. Let's catch our very own Hatina. And then next time we battle against Bead, we'll have our own Hatina and hopefully maybe evolve it, depending on what level or how it evolves. Alright. I'd be very happy if I was able to have an evolved Hatina before Bead did. Let's take a look at this guy. Via the protrusion on its head, it senses other creatures' emotions. If you don't have a calm disposition, it will never warm up to you. Hatina is the calm Pokemon. Well, I think I'm pretty calm, for the most part. <laughs> Unless I get scared by something, then I'm not very calm. Alright, if I just slip on by you, I can do these battles in between episodes. Ooh, there is an item over there, though. Give me that. I'll do battles, go through the mines and the grass to catch more Pokemon and train up, and then hopefully... Nope, go away. I don't want to battle you. Hopefully, <laughs> we'll be nice and ready for the fire-type gym leader Kaboo in the next episode. This is a long, long bridge. But, I forgot, I have a bike. Ooh, it's gonna be covered in feathers though birds all over this bridge apparently. Hello! We finally made it back to Motorstroke City. And I think... Oh, can we talk to Ball Guy again? No, he's not gonna give us a ball. Alright. I think that's it then. In the next episode we'll be ready for our third gym battle against Kabu. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, subscribe for more, and I shall see you all in the next one. Bye guys!